welcome to anali sultan you are going to channel for mastering analytics marketing strategy in this video i will walk through settings of the facebook purchase event to maximize your ad performance and take complete sales efficiently if you are new here hit the subscribe button and tap the bell icon so you are never miss a tutorial that helps you to scale your business did you know that stack the purchase event is the key to optimize your roi let's facebook understand exactly who is buying your product so you can run smarter ads and drive even more sales let's set up and unlock the full potential to your campaign what is the purchase event the purchase event is a crucial facebook pixel event that stacks every successful transactions on your website what does it act order details product name quantity and order value customer behavior user who complete their purchase customer data payment methods currency or promotional discount by tracking purchase you give facebook the data it need to optimize your ads for high value buyer why should you take purchase with the facebook pixel smarter ad optimization facebook learns from purchase data to show you ads to people most likely to buy ros measurement easy calculate your return and ad spend to ensure your campaign are profitable retargeting buyers create a upsell or cross sell ads for recent buyer look like audience target new customer similar to your highest value buyer here's how the purchase event works pixel installation the facebook pixel is installed on your website event trigger the purchase event fires when your user complete this checkout process and and receives the thank you or order confirmation data collection facebook collect purchase details like transactions values items purchase and user behavior at optimization facebook uses this data to refine your retarget and optimize campaign for higher conversion so let's get into the setup process previous video i will set up facebook page view event view content and add to cart and initiate checkout event now i will set up facebook purchase event so first you need to click on preview button then paste your website url then click connect now i need to click any product then click add to cart then again click view cart then click on proceed to checkout now i need to fill up these informations for purchase this is my demo informations then click place order if you see google tag assistant our facebook pixel page view facebook pixel view content and facebook pixel add to cart and facebook pixel begin checkout already fired so our all of setups perfectly okay now i need to set up facebook purchase event so firstly need to copy begin checkout event because our begin checkout and purchase event same to same so i need to remove this triggering then again click on here then find out custom events now i need to copy click here then copy this event then paste here then give a name for triggers then click save now i need to change some things here click on object properties then click on add add properties and then go back to my documentation which event i need need here I need to add an order ID. So firstly, need to copy order underscore ID, then paste here. Now I need to create data layer variable. So click here. Firstly, need to pick e-commerce, then transaction ID. So click here. Then again, click plus signs. Then find out data layer variable. Then copy e-commerce. Then paste here. Then dot. Then need to transaction ID. Transaction underscore ID then give a name for these variables tlp transaction id then click on save now i need to send some extra informations for advanced matching so click here advanced matching then again click here custom informations data parameters now i need to click add parameters which parameter need to send if i see here 
which type of parameter need firstly need email first name last name phone number city state and zip and country so firstly need to select here email where we i find out email if i click on our website data layer if i want to track email address so firstly need to pick order data then customer then billings then email so i already created documentation for this so i will copy this then paste here so firstly need to click here then find out data layer variable then paste here then copy this name then paste here then click on save now i need to add this then phone then again click on plus signs then again click plus signs then find out data layer variable now i will copy sorry this is the phone number so copy this phone number and paste here then click on here dlb phone then click save if i see my documentation i need to change digit only including country code and area code string so i need to copy this code so remove this part then again click on plus sign then find out custom javascript sorry custom javascript then paste here now i need to change this code then find out phone then give a name here cgs phone then click save now i need to add first name last name city state city then state then zip zip code then country now where i find out first name if i see my data layer again firstly need to pick order then customers then billings then first name so i already complete this documentations so click here then again click plus sign then find out data layer variables so paste here so give a name for this value then click save now i need to create for last name so again click plus signs then find out data layer variables so copy this and paste here then give a variables name and click set now i need to create for city so copy this then again go back to google tag manager web container then find out data layer variable then paste here then give a name for this variable and click set now i need to create for state find out data layer variable so copy this then paste here then give a name for this variable this type of informations helps you to track accurate data so need to postal code then click again data layer variable dlb post code then click save now i need to change this so copy this code again then again click on plus signs 
then find out custom javascript then paste here then remove this part then find out postcode now give a name for this variable then click save now i need to create for country again click plus signs then find out data layer variables if i see website data layer firstly need to pick order then customers then billings then country this is the country so i already complete this documentations country then pick save our setup almost done now we need to click save now click on preview button i need to check it our setup is perfectly okay or not okay then click on any product i will add multiple product then click this product edit multiple product then click on view card then click again proceed to checkout now click on place order if i click meta pixel helper we will see that content categories and content ids content names and contents currency price order id everything is here if i click again google tag assistant you will see that our all of facebook pixel tag already fired so our setup is perfectly okay after 30 minutes we will see all of informations here so don't worry about this now if i click on google tag assistant and click on purchase then click on variables we will see that all of these informations are recommended on facebook and perfectly okay and working everything so our setup is perfectly okay and that's how you can set up the facebook purchase event to track sales and boost and add performance if this video helped you please hit the subscribe button and enable the bell icon so you don't miss my future tutorials have a questions drop a comment below or reach out through the link in the description thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video